the following fast paper question reads that element x and y in the, are in the same group of the periodic table so so they are in the same group they have the same number of valence electrons or outermost electrons and the table shows the first six ionization energies of elements uh, x and y and uh, as you can note you would notice that uh, when you're removing electrons uh, the first ionization energy removes one electron then the second electron is removed then the third electron is removed so there's a gradual increase in ionization energies up to the fifth and once you remove the sixth electron then there's a drastic increase in ionization energies as you're removing the sixth electron and this is also true for element y removing the first electron is easy and then there's a gradual increase in ionization energies as you remove the fifth electron but when you remove the sixth electron then there's a drastic increase in ionization energy now the reason why removing the first five electrons is relatively easy is in both cases removing the first five electrons is relatively easy is because the first five electrons are in the outermost shell so the electrons are further from the nucleus getting rid of these five electrons in the outermost shell is easier because they are further away they are more shielded so the attraction for from the nucleus for these electrons would be lesser so the ionization energies are lesser but when you're removing the sixth electron the sixth electron belongs to an inner shell so it's it belongs to an inner shell that electron is closer to the nucleus so it's more attracted to the nucleus and it is it has less shielding as well there are no inner shells so so this electron is directly attracted to the nucleus so removing this electron the sixth electron would become more difficult which basically means is that both elements x and y are in group 5 because getting rid of the first five electrons is easy that means the first five electrons belong to the outermost shell and because of the distance and because of the shielding effect getting rid of these five electrons would be easier compared to getting rid of the sixth electron so both elements are going to be in uh, they're going to be in in group 5 so if i open the pure table and i look at group 5 this is my group 5 let's copy all these elements uh group 5 is now known as group 15 so let me copy all these elements so here are my group 5 elements and as you would notice there is no uh te in it so the two options that have uh, te in it so i'm going to cut those options out they are going to be incorrect because both elements x and y are in group 5 uh so you're left with either antimony or arsenic arsenic is over here antimony is over here remember arsenic is a smaller atom so its ionization energies would be uh, greater as you move down the group the ionization energies decrease because the size of the atom increases and the shielding effect increases so antimony is going to have higher ionization energy so element y over here because it has higher ionization energies it's more difficult to remove electrons so that would be the smaller atom the electrons would be closer to the nucleus and uh, there would be less shielding so removing that electron would be easier so uh it's going to be arsenic arsenic would be the one that would have higher ionization energy so y is arsenic and x would be antimony so it's going to be option a is going to be the correct option uh x would be antimony because uh, x has lower ionization energies it has it is easier to remove electrons from x compared to y so x must be the bigger atom uh down the group it it would its electrons would be much further away from the nucleus so removing those electrons would be much easier compared to removing electrons from antimony arsenic over here so option a is going to be your correct option for this question